going to have to... Okay, come on. Hey, X, is your water bottle red? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go and take it inside. The current iteration of this routine has been developed and refined over the course of the past three years. One of the master class writers, or maybe several of them, have hammered home that the routine is the job. Routine over everything. So many bathroom breaks. Doctor says it's fine. Can we do that? Lack of energy is the problem. Energy vanishes, brain shuts down. Used to happen at 5 p.m., then 3, then months later, 1 p.m. Now it's 11 a.m. Brain shuts down at 11 a.m. Body follows. Used to use anger and rage to summon the last emergency bits of energy, but we can't do that anymore. Hard out at 2.30 to pick up the boy. Okay. I wanna take mom. The blessing, the greatest blessing, is time spent with the boy. Some energy creeps back with the boy. By Friday though, it's gone. The nap tweak doesn't seem to work. The nap tweak knocks him out for the day, it seems. But he naps anyway. Used to be able to work until 5 p.m., then 3 p.m., then 1, now 11 a.m. Brain shuts down at 11 a.m. This is burnout. Slow burnout. One cylinder at a time. The starving man thinks only of bread. This spirited man thinks only of sleep. He suspects that this fatigue is not physical. Wow, you're a skelly! Ooh. Whoa, look at you! I got face painted! He suspects this fatigue begins in the spirit. He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. So saith the philosopher who lost his mind. Is it laziness? The fatigue comes from a form of laziness? Or cowardice disguised as laziness? Maybe laziness disguised as cowardice? The routine is there to optimize energy, productivity, and sanity. But the routine itself is exhausted. This burnout feels fake, cunning, baffling. Gonna fight through it. Gonna switch the run from 6.20 a.m. to 9 a.m. 
to keep the writing sessions uninterrupted. Got a trip planned. That might help. Got a big break planned. That must help. Until then, it's white knuckles. This is the part of the marathon where you gotta swallow your pride and walk. Slow down, but don't stop. This week on the Patreon, a live stream answering your questions. The link is right there.